Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up one very, very interesting question from radical maths. We have to evaluate here cube root of square root 52 minus square root 25. So let's get started by considering this expression equal to a. Now, square root 52 is greater than square root 25. So conclusion is A should be always positive. So I can write A equal to cube root of square root 52 minus 5. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So I can write A cube will be equal to cube root of square root 52 minus 5 and then whole cube. Now we can cancel this cube root with cube. So a cube will be equal to square root 52 minus 5. Now let's consider b cube which will be conjugate of a cube square root 52 plus 5. Now we have two equations. I will subtract. So minus, minus, minus. Left hand side it will be a cube minus b cube. Right hand side this will be over. Minus 10 will be there. Now I will multiply a cube and b cube. So a cube times b cube. This will be equal to the square root 52 minus 5 times the square root 52 plus 5. Let us call this equation as equation number 1. So here a minus b times a plus b is written. Difference of two squares formula we can use. So let me write here a cube times b cube which we will write a b whole cube and it is equal to square root 52 minus 5 times square root 52 plus 5. So it is a minus b a plus b. We know that a minus b times a plus b it is equal to a square minus b square. So I can write a b whole cube. This will be equal to root 52 whole square minus 5 whole square. So root 52 whole square will be 52 and minus 5 whole square will be 25. 52 minus 25 is 27, which is equal to 3 cube. Left hand side it is AB whole cube. Now I will consider cube root both sides. So AB will be equal to 3 only. This is our equation number 2. Now we have to solve equation 1 and equation 2 for the value of a only. So let me write here equation 1. a cube minus b cube equal to negative 10. And equation number 2 a b equal to 3. Let us write equation 1. a cube minus b cube equal to negative 10. Now a cube minus b cube formula. a minus b times a square plus b square plus ab equal to negative 10. a minus b times a square plus b square minus 2ab plus 3ab. AB is equal to minus 2 plus 3AB. So it will be equal to AB overall. 
Now from first three term here I can write it is a minus b whole square. So a minus b, a minus b whole square plus 3ab equal to negative 10. Now ab is 3. So I can write a minus b times a minus b whole square plus 3 times 3 equal to minus 10 or I can write a minus b in other bracket a minus b whole square plus 9 equal to negative 10. Now I will use substitution. Let me write a minus b times a minus b whole square plus 9 equal to negative 10. Let us consider a minus b equal to u. Now I will consider our equation in u. u times u square plus 9 equal to negative 10 or I can write u cube plus 9u plus 10 equal to 0. Now I can split our 9u. This is one cubic equation. I will use method of factorization. So we can split 9u as u cube minus u plus 10u plus 10 equal to 0. So from first two terms we can take u common. u square minus 1 will be in the bracket. From last two 10 is common u plus 1 will be in the bracket. Now I can write the difference of two squares formula once again u plus 1 times u minus 1 plus 10 times u plus 1 equal to 0. Now u plus 1 is overall common. In other bracket we can write u times u minus 1 plus 10 equal to 0 or we can write u plus 1 times u square minus u plus 10 equal to 0. Now from here I can write either u plus 1 will be equal to 0 or u square minus u plus 10 equal to 0. So from first equation I can conclude u equal to negative 1. Let me write here u plus 1 equal to 0. So u equal to negative 1. And second equation if I will write then it was u square minus u plus 10 equal to 0. So if I will check only discriminant value. So it will be b square minus 1 square minus 4 times a times c. So this will become 1 minus 40 which is minus 39. Once discriminant is negative we will get complex solutions. So I can write as discriminant is less than 0. So complex solutions will be there. So we can reject this quadratic equation for our solution. So u equal to negative 1 is acceptable. So I will write the value of u. It was a minus b minus 1. And our equation a b equal to 3. Our target is to find out a positive. Condition on a was a should be greater than 0. Let's solve. So from second equation I will write b equal to 3 over a. So I can plug in this value in first equation. a minus b equal to minus 1. So I will write a minus 3 over a equal to negative 1. 
a is positive i can multiply both sides by a so a square minus 3 equal to minus a a square plus a minus 3 equal to 0 now this is one quadratic equation i can use quadratic formula so let's apply quadratic formula here so i can write here a equal to minus b minus 1 plus minus under the root b square so 1 square 1 minus 4ac plus 12 divided by 2a so 2 so i will be writing here minus 1 plus minus root 13 divided by 2 so i can write here minus 1 plus root 13 by 2 and second solution minus 1 minus root 13 by 2 now a is always positive so we will reject second solution so our required value of the expression it would be a equal to root 13 minus 1 over 2 this is our final answer i hope friends you will like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourselves bye bye